Welcome everybody to our ninth annual Support the Troops fundraiser. Thank Liam. you for having us. Holy cow. I can't yeah. believe we've made it nine I know. years. <laughs> That's awesome. We should have a total of what we have to date, but you guys have always been amazing and you've always done wonderful, uh, you know, for us collecting and we appreciate all your help, of course. Yeah. Well, we are excited to do it. We, um, we're going to get a couple audio things situated here. Jason, are we good? You don't hear any? Okay. All right. So we just wanted to do a couple, an audio check because anybody who's following my other Facebook lives knows I've been struggling with my technology. Okay. So okay. I don't know. I've never had issues before. And suddenly we've got extra vibes going on in here because there's like a weird background hum. You have this beautiful background. Yeah. Well, now we do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got microphones. I think we should be good. I've got, okay. oh, I'm a little hung up here with all my bling She, bling. of course, has <laughs> outblinged me. That's normal. You don't try to outbling the blinger. Well, just wait. I've got some things in store for later. So the Anne can up her ante a little bit. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we've got some people jumping on. Sherry says hi. Laura's on. Awesome, you guys. I'm excited. Thanks for joining us. If you're just joining us, we are um, just getting started. Hi, Donna. With our ninth annual Support the Troops fundraiser. Happy Giving Tuesday. There's, what a great time to give and it, give back to those. It is. There's so many great uh, nonprofits and and. Uh, organizations doing great things. You are absolutely right. We are just one of many, and we, if you choose us, we thank you. Uh, the soldiers thank you, and thank you to uh, Jason and Wendy for continuing to put us, you know, out there and remembering yep. what we do. Yeah. Well, um, I will say that uh, we got to know Leanne uh, as, I don't know, I think... Jason it, actually approached did, me okay. at Maxwell Street Days one year, or Fall Festival, oh. and said, we want to help you. And I'm like, awesome. Um, I think he, I had stopped in before and he offered to help and I just hadn't got back here. So he approached me. So that's awesome. He came to me and said, we would like to help you. That's cool. Yeah, we just thought that was a cool thing. I think one of the things that I think is the neatest, uh, um, as... As a new business owner, we didn't understand a lot of how um, certain things work. So what we found out early on as a, um, a, like a brick and mortar business right. was the amount of, um, and I'm not saying this in a negative way, the amount of solicitations for donations for all sorts of things. You are absolutely right. So we're talking about um, nonprofits, we're talking about churches, schools, uh, high school, the sporting events, bands, yep, all the different groups, Correct. yep, health things, personal health Correct. tragedies, all these in each one of those. I always say each one of those things is most important to that person you are at that time. Absolutely right. Even with our volunteers that come and help for a while, when your soldier is in the military, you are very into helping and want to come. Not all. We have many, many volunteers that come back even when their soldiers come home. We have soldiers come back and help us. And yeah. I can't say enough about the volunteers that help us do what we do. I could not do this alone. You guys gave us a sign a long time ago that's at my building and it says, um, I get by with a little help from my friends. And I really do. I wouldn't want to do this alone. No. We had Santa's elves down there again today Did putting you? packages together. I have to work um, sometimes, so they went down there without me and oh, really? were putting boxes together. Well, one of the things that I loved was that uh, we learned about so many different resources in our community, you know, we, the different nonprofits and the different organizations. And um, in the so you've been in business 15 um, years. 15 years. Correct. In February, it'll be 15 years. We've known you since almost the beginning of right. our time here, 10, right. years. 10 years. And, you know, this is an, an all-volunteer organization, which I find to be, first of all, rare, <laughs> right? You're right. You're right. <laughs> I mean, crazy, let's just, but sometimes, crazy. yes, yes. Because you can, yes. oh, I was just talking to someone today, you know, when tragedy strikes or things happen, people get all involved, but then they kind of... Back off. You're back right. off. You know, they go, right. life goes on and you right. get busy with stuff and, and you need all of that in the beginning... But um, but some things to to be sustainable, in all volunteer organization is almost unheard of. So. It, it is, and I will say I work three jobs, so I absolutely am not <laughs> rolling in the dough where I can just stay home and do this. Um, but you have to do it from your heart. Mm -hmm. If I didn't have the heart to do this, I wouldn't keep doing this because working yeah. three jobs, 
and my family, my grandkids, my husband. Oh my God, my husband. <laughs> He's like, whatever, she's just gone again. Um, we are down at the building all the time. We are walking parade routes. We are yeah. doing broad fries. We're doing whatever we can to raise funds. And so unless it is in your heart, you're not going to yeah. be able to do this for, fifth, you know, two years, much less 15. Yeah. And I must say it started with my children, but it's gone so beyond that. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. so many, they're all my kids now. I have thousands of kids um, that have come back and said, you know, we got one of your boxes and I cry every time. Yeah. Tell because, us. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. I was going to say, because you, you don't know what we do for those that don't know me. Um, I can't imagine that. <laughs> Um, there are Hartford. a couple. There's a couple. There's a couple, two or three, maybe. Um, I can't imagine who. But anyways, we I started sending care packages to my children in uh, 2007. I actually started in 2002 when my first son was in the Air Force and went overseas. And he did a deployment, did the mom thing, came home, knock on wood every time. And then my second son was in the Marine, a little family conflict. Oh, yeah. And he was not on a base, so he really needed supplies all the time. And being uh, not on a base, he was always gone somewhere or not there. So we just started sending extra snacks, things like that, and it really went from there. He told us about people who never got care packages from their family, whether they couldn't afford to send them you know the 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 funding of the family maybe they didn't know how i don't know but right. as a talker we may be here at breakfast you know um i have snacks upstairs <laughs> oh, jason just went shopping <laughs> thank you jason um as a mom i kind of just believed in if one gets it everyone should get it so i really just wanted to help and i had some wonderful people step up and say i will help you do this Awesome. And so we just started sending a few extra boxes. I think my kids were called royalty sometimes. Like, you have five boxes. Who do you know? You know, type thing. So I'm like, just share. Um, so when we mail these boxes now, I would say probably 95% of the time we don't know who they're mailing to. Anyone who knows anyone in any branch of service can give us an address. Yep. And we will send a care package. And I do have a care package here, so I will show you what's in those. Um, but when we hear back from these veterans that are receiving these, it just warms your heart. I did bring a couple of thank you notes as well because I don't know them. I'm sure they're going, where is Hartford, Wisconsin? And how did they get my name? And why are they doing this? It's funny. Yes. Yeah. You know, they, they don't expect it. Yeah. Um, maybe mom said you're going to get a box or something. And they're like, okay. Sure. And then they get it. And yeah. I hope that when they open it, they feel joy, they sure. feel happiness, they feel thank, they feel that we are so grateful for what they do. Um, it, it, I've heard it boosts morale, you know, immensely. Yeah, because yeah. How when, could it not? You right, know, how I could mean, it not? if you send me a gift, yeah, I'm going to be happy. Yes, Nobody sends cards yes. anymore, yes. so yeah, I know. That, so yep. to receive a care package has got to be pretty phenomenal. And we have heard back, and again, I different events, we recently had an event in Oconomowoc, did our little spiel like this, and afterwards I had a, a very nice gentleman come up and he said, I got one of your boxes. Aww. And of course I cried. cried. And he's like, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. And I'm like, wait, I want to tell the whole world. And he's like, it's good, I'm good, you're good, thank you. And that's how most of them are. They are yeah. not looking for accolades. They believe what they do is just as important as any other job. We know different. Yeah. We know that they, thing. right. A lot of sacrifices. There is. And the family. The family. You know, our you family know. alone has missed weddings and funerals and birthdays and anniversaries and, of course, births. And it, it's, in my family, um, my family right now is uh, deployed. Uh, my son and daughter-in-law and my grandchildren um, are all in one place overseas. And they can't just come back because it's Christmas. Right. You know, as much as I would love for them to, yeah. it's very expensive. Yep. It's a long way. She's on duty. It's not like she can just say, got to go. I want to go see my family. Yeah. So, yes, they give so much to us, and we're so grateful. So before we go any further, I want to take a take a second to um, um, hear Jason over there. I'm not sure what's going on. <laughs> What was uh, that sound? Minute. Forget about me. What was that sound? I think he wants me to make sure everybody knows you're here. Is that what it is? Oh, no, no, no. oh, okay. Let them know how they can donate. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm going to do next. So here's what we're going to do. Um, we, we are, we, there's, uh, um, 
there's several ways that you can donate. And I'm going to, in a second, put things in the comments, but I didn't want to be rude while Leanne's talking. I wanted to get her get her started. <laughs> and then, then once the motor gets going, then I'm going to be popping in some um, links and things like that. And I brought prizes as well. Oh, you did? I did. I, I have a couple prizes. I have prizes too. And when you're talking about donations, why would I need donations? Yeah. Do, why do you need donations, Leanne? I can't imagine. <laughs> well, let me tell you. These care packages that we mail, as awesome as they are, and nine times out of 10, the people that donate to us fill these boxes, but we have to pay postage costs. The government does not fund us. We are, as Wendy said, 100% volunteer. There, we have no government funding that comes into us, so someone's gotta pay for these care packages. Each box costs approximately $22.50 to mail, and we have to raise those funds. There is no such thing as free mail um, for us sending to the troops. So when we raise funds through it, whether it's through parades, uh, events like this, or other events that we have, we are raising funds for postage costs. So believe me, nobody else is making this money. Um, there is no CEO that is collecting, and I'm not saying that there aren't wonderful nonprofits that have CEOs and all that, that's wonderful. I'm a CEO that gets zero. So yeah. um, you know that 100% of your donation goes to sending care packages. And you, we know people that have come back and said, I got your boxes, yep. and we hear of people all the time. So this really is going not into my pocket. Yep. I would not work three jobs if I were yep. receiving this. Um, and that's and that's what we right. that's what we see. We see you. We see your heart. We see your volunteers. They we see we know these people as well. And we know your your a lot of your volunteers, and um, we see the heart. And right. that's that's why we've connected. Right. Yes. And um, feel, and we appreciate that so much. Well, and we we appreciate you. And that's what a yes. community is: people right. giving, not always taking, but giving, and where they can give. So I always say, you know, even with our business, like not everybody needs shopping needs to come in and buy things so you know what a lot of people share just share posts you're right you know what i mean they're right. or they're telling their friends this cute store or this and that and they're doing word of mouth i feel the same way about this tonight you know while we need the support the troops needs the actual money to pay the posts to send the packages but we also need people to know that we are that they exist Correct. so that they can also so we can continue can, this in 15 years i have said if donations stop or addresses stop, I would have nowhere to send these. Yep. I'm sorry to say that there are many, many still overseas and they do need our boxes and they do need our support and they do need our help. So, and so how can they so how help can us you, out? How can you help us out? Here's what you can do. You can do one, you can do several things, but here's number one. You can call here right now and Jason is manning the phones. Say hi, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> and he's watching. So you could call now and, and you can do a credit card donation over the phone. You can send a check or drop off a check, right? You could drop off a check here at Faith and Giggles or you could send a check to support the troops. Um, and I'm gonna put this uh, address and information in the comment section in a second. Support the troops, Wisconsin, 6087 Highway 60. Am I given Correct. Hartford, Wisconsin, 53027. And normally there's a big trailer out in my front lawn, but it is away for the winter. So people have said, I wanted to drop something off at your house and I couldn't find it. So I'm still there. The trailer is oh. just away for the winter. So Sherry just put on the, the direct link to support the troops PayPal. Thank you, Sherry. I appreciate that. All right. So you can do a PayPal too. The link is in the comments. You can go to uh, www.supportthetroops.com. W-I. W-I dot com. And you can go to the donate page and you can donate there. Correct. Uh, you can, we've had people dropping off checks and cash today, which was really, oh, really, nice. yep, we have an envelope nice. of money already. Okay. Um, I didn't say this yet. I did post it, but um, Jason and I um, are going to be matching the first $500 That's donation. Awesome. So I'm and so giving. Thank I know. You. Well, you know, this is so important. I want, our lives are so busy. Leanne and I are flying by the seat of our pants because <laughs> Always. that's how we roll. Oh, I have a phone. <laughs> I, like, I love it. We're at this, 
a telethon. It's like, yes, a, it's like yes. a telethon. This is what I was hoping would happen. And you know, I, I was going to say, I have to tell you when I talk, when we talk about helping other businesses mm-hmm. out, what I think is really cool is I was at Pack and Ship today, which is a very big occurrence now, yes. right now for, in November. Pack we got to get these boxes out because they take 10 to 15 days to get yep. where they're going. 10 to 15 so days. So we want to make sure that there's time. So everything should be out by Monday at the latest for me. Um, we do this year round, so if uh, money comes in now until whenever, yeah, we all in January will start up again and start mailing these boxes. How how many do you do a year? We do about fifteen hundred to two thousand a year. It okay. depends, of course, with COVID. You know, we had a a little bit less uh, okay. because we didn't have a lot of people out and about. And I will tell you, we really live by a shoestring yeah. as far as donations. Uh, We are grateful for every penny we get. We did have a large event and we were able to raise a lot of money, but that money is going to go really fast. Oh, Um, I'm sure. This month alone already, I've spent probably close to $3,000 on postage costs. And again, that's the $2,250 that we are sending for each box. Uh, Jody over at Pack and Ship, I was there today, as I was saying. And what really happened that was fun was a lady was mailing something and she said i just did not know where to send this and she said i was at faith and giggles she bought a mug Ah, from you guys and they said um oh wendy over faith and giggles sent me over here (laughs) so we appreciate that you know that you support her as well jody does an awesome job mailing all these boxes for me i used to stand at the post office for hours and mail these boxes they let so many people go and then I'd go back in line and then they'd let so many people go and I'd spend hours. So now I can drop them off at Pack and Ship, which is right here in Hartford by Walgreens or yeah. Verizon. And she mails all these boxes for me. I sign all the customs forms, all the, you know, I sign the checks. And so, yes, that's how those boxes get overseas. That's awesome. And yes. do you send multiples to the to one? Or- we do. Uh, right now with Christmas, we're doing one to keep and one to share. So the box that they get, they will be able to share with someone who's maybe not receiving a box this Christmas. Okay. Um, Normally, in a say they're doing a six to nine month deployment, they'll probably get four boxes from us. Okay. So during that time, about every six weeks we try. That's amazing. It depends upon donations. I always wondered that because I didn't didn't know that, how many multiples you do. Okay, before you um, introduce our first guest, we have... A guest waiting over here. You can't see. I'm excited. Okay, but real quick, I want to just mention again. If you'd like to donate and help out to pay for postage, um, so you said it was twenty two fifty. Twenty two fifty for a flat rate box. Okay. Um, we are using a little bit different box right now. We'll look at that. But it's around twenty dollars, right? Okay. So when I send out my email and post it, I was going by last. Last year's postage, which was okay. twenty one something or twenty one ninety five. Okay, so I um so you know, I said our goal was twenty one hundred dollars. That would send a hundred boxes, but now we need a little bit more than that. A little bit, yeah. and I we need a little more. <laughs> <laughs> when I started this, it was six dollars and ninety five cents. Are you serious? Yes. yes. All right. So so here's another thing too to think when you donate if you're going to donate. Um, if you oh, and this is the other thing I wanted to mention. I haven't mentioned yet. Did you have a question over there? No, but I just wanted to. Cheryl Burns called in with $22.50. Awesome. Oh, Cheryl. And Cheryl has two children in the military, so she's supporting them as well. Yep. She has a son Thanks, that's Cheryl. right now. Thank you, Cheryl. She works at Faith and Giggles also. Yes, she, yes, she does. Um, and I've known her for many years, and with because of her children as well. Yep. And she does an amazing job for us as well. She's volunteered and given back to the community in many ways. We have yep. silent auctions on Facebook and she donates her you know handmade crafts and cool so many nice. different ways you can help so yeah. awesome and we also got a donation from Alan Carolyn Locker from Locker Trucking oh. for $200 yes! yes yay thank you so much <laughs> I'm sorry every penny still yes! gets me very excited okay so should we okay. bring in our special guest who yeah. can even Let's tell you it. more about care packages yes yeah, so if you're while our guest is chatting you can go to www.supportthetroops.wi Dot com, or you can go into the link that was posted for your PayPal payment. You can call Faith and Giggles at this phone number right here, and you can do a credit card, or you can send a check. If you are going to send a check, just give us a call. Yeah, and give, let us know. Let us know, or put us on Facebook and just say yep. I'm sending a check, just so, so we know because yeah, we can we tell. Wanna, yeah, we want to shout out. But she's. Jason- 
Okay, so awesome. you can you can you can call yes. in now and make the donation, and we'll we know you're gonna you're good for it. Right. You can drop it Absolutely. off this week, or call, or, or right. you know send a check. And so. again, I I don't do Venmo. I think it's called, yeah. but I do have a friend that does Venmo. So I don't know if she's gonna post that on the okay. website. Um, Sherry kind of does my okay. I'll watch for that. my computer stuff. I don't do all that. Um, but again, that uh, website is on there. That for our website yep. or the uh paypal account that you can put it through and it'll go right to us so without further ado yeah. i'm going to invite a friend of mine who i also met at pack and ship he kind of hangs out there once in a while with jody um his name is jesse cornelius and i will let him introduce himself um come on over jesse <laughs> oh good okay we've got a microphone here but it doesn't matter <laughs> Okay. Welcome. Hi. Welcome hey. to the high seat. Yeah, I know, I know. Thank you for coming. Yeah, no problem. So introduce yourself. Uh, so my name is Jesse Cornelius, and I retired from the Marine Corps after serving 23 years. And Ooh, yes, thank yeah, thank you. Um, and when I retired here, I wanted to find a way to give back to my fellow veterans. And I ended up being introduced to Leanne at Support the Troops. And I knew it was something that I wanted to be a part of um, because I've been deployed before. I have not received one of Leanne's packages. I wish I'm I would have. Oh, I know. Um, but anyway, it's uh, it's something I really want to be a part of, and I'm glad I got introduced to Leanne and support the troops. And uh, I try to help as much as I can. Uh, I also coach girls high school basketball, and every year I try to get the girls there to help package up packages, oh, nice. yes. take them over to pack and ship uh, with Jody, and those types of things. So I'm glad to be here. Thank yeah, you. Thank you for having yeah, us. Welcome. And uh, we were at another event, and. I will tell you, I cry very easily at these. <laughs> yeah, you do. I, I, I can do attest to because, that. Because I'm, again, passionate about what I'm doing. But Jesse told me, told us a story. And it, not a story. He put us in, in the place of receiving this care package. So I would love for you to do that again. Sure. So one of the ways that I wanted the people uh, to connect with what the cause is about is to put themselves in the shoes of those that are deployed overseas to a different uh, land, you know, they have no family. Um, they have their comrades they serve with, but you know, the family's not there. The things they're familiar with, all the way down to their pets and those types of things. So, I'd like for everyone, if you're listening right now, to try to put yourself in those shoes where you're deployed somewhere away from home, and the next thing you know, you receive a package in the mail. And it's from Hartford, Wisconsin. Again, where is Hartford? Yeah, <laughs> yep, you're probably looking at it like, where is that? Is that Canada? Um, right. But, you know, you're looking at it, and then, you know, you start to have memories about, you know, when you were a kid and, you know, Christmas time or birthdays when you get a package. Uh -huh. And you start to get all excited and you get a little giddy because you want to know do. what's inside yes. of it. You know, you're getting really excited. And, uh, and then you open the package and you see things that remind you of home and the things that Leanne and her crew uh, put in those boxes, such as snacks, um, games, videos, magazines, um, all those things that were reminded of an individual, sorry, an individual, um, of what they have from home. And it makes them feel really, really good, makes them happy, makes them feel like they're appreciated. And, uh, and again, it, it's something that's just truly amazing that, you know, boosts their morale and keeps them moving forward on a daily basis to continue their mission uh, no matter where they're at. And so. I am, thank you for I telling us about yeah. that. Yeah, that's um, a great perspective. Like, it is yeah. because I have not walked in the shoes of my children um, where they have done, my children have done several deployments, my brother-in-law, my nephew, uh, my dad, uh, years ago and I guess I never understood the impact that it could have but from what I'm told I mean morale I'm sure goes up and down um, you're missing your family sure. you're missing home especially around the holidays really, really tough. I, I, and that is so true and when we send a care package I have one here I don't know whoops if we can see everything in it but um this is just a good variety. Uh, we have a magazine in here. We have, just I'm gonna ask you to hold a little bit here. Uh, we may be paying, pass it down. Um, we have tea, a clean t-shirt, new t-shirt. 
Um, we have some popcorn in this one. Wow, there's lots in there. We have bubble gum. I didn't pack this box either, so I I was it's not. It's a surprise to you. Yeah, as well, it's a huh? surprise to me as well. Um, we have some energy tea. We have some gum and mints. We have some pretzels. We have some coffee. Wendy, you may have to hold some yep, stuff down. Yep, pass it down. Uh, we have trail Do mix. I have to give it we back? have <laughs> yeah. yes. Oh, okay, uh, macaroni thanks. and cheese. We have some fruit cups. Uh, we have some candy. We have some cookies. <laughs> this is a lot of things going. Yeah. <laughs> this is an awesome care package. Yeah. I don't know which volunteer put this together. Um, we have some Nutella. We have some uh, drink mixes. And then this is my exciting, I will say every yep. care package that I mail is important. But this one, this one gets to me. Um, this is maybe the only gift they receive overseas. I don't know. Um, now again, I did not pack this. I, for those who were down uh, at the building with me today, you know I literally just grabbed it off the pile. Um, but there really can are. You, can you see the notes too? You can see the um, notes on these too. I don't know, Leanne. We have stickers. Yep. Yeah, yep, we have yep. get local kids that uh, color these stickers and we yep. put them on there. You can put that in here if you want, Jesse. Oh, right? okay. No, I just. Um, so I'm going to give you a stocking. Now, you didn't know you were going to have to work while you were here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so these are the two stockings. Um, again, these are all donated to us. And. So it's one to keep and one to share. If they have someone overseas oh, cool. with them that is not going to maybe receive a gift. Okay. Now, I will tell you the items in here may just be generalized to us, but to them it's a gift. Um, not that it's not a gift from our hearts. It absolutely is. We have some candy in this one. We have some coffee again. We have some health and beauty aids, some floss and toothpaste. Um, I remember one of the soldiers that came back said they literally had this much left of deodorant when they received our deodorant. I'm like, yes, that's awesome. Um, we have some salt and pepper here. Uh, we have like a stress ball, uh, some toothpaste in here. There's some batteries. You know, they have, what are they? The, the I'm really technic, tech. Technology, an iPod or something like <laughs> that. Uh, something yep. like that. That's Aaron uh, Yes. Uh, there's another stress ball in here. We do send, um, I don't know what's in this one. We're going to find out. Uh, we He's have. Careful. This is not very professional. This is not very Wendy is so sorry. professional. <laughs> I apologize. Uh, we okay. have boot laces. Are boot laces something they can use? Sure. Absolutely. A lot of things, yeah. Yes. Um, I don't know if everyone knows the. The military does not give you everything you need. Correct. Uh, um, <laughs> we'll yeah. just leave it at that. Um, you get your uniforms, but many times you have to pay for them. Yes. Uh, in the Air Force, I know you do. I don't know about the Marines for sure. I believe you have to probably buy. Yeah, they get a closing. The well, they get a closing clothing allowance, allowance every okay. year. Um, it's relatively small when it comes to you know some other stuff you have to buy that's right. more expensive than what the allowance is. So okay, every um, little bit helps. That's for sure. Right. That's um, for sure. In this one, I do not see what I was looking for, but we send um, Christmas cards that they can send back to their families. That's right. Um, a lot that of them sense. that we send, there's uh, cards and letters from the local kids. If anyone is wanting to write Christmas cards, I will send those over as well. Uh, a lot of times we do have those in here um, and you know it just says thank you for what you do uh, we appreciate all your service away, away from your family again it, it's emotional because when you see that empty chair at the table I know it's a sign of someone away and my kids have been away for the holiday and my kids have been away for funerals and weddings and you don't get that time back when you're away from your kids you can't say okay wait go back six months now i'm home right mm -hmm. so if this is the least we can do for them is send them these boxes I, you know please help us do that um i i just can't thank everyone enough who has helped us um we have mailed approximately and when i say this 
amount. I don't really know where the time has gone, but over 14,000 care okay. packages. 14,000. Wow. It's like, that's a lot that's of work. That's a lot of work. <laughs> and wow. I, I can't thank the volunteers enough who come forward and do this for us. Yeah. Um, I know you, Jesse, have come back and volunteered. Mm-hmm. And that's what I love is that the veterans who have, sorry, Jesse, you didn't get one, but yes, <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe somebody may get one. <laughs> um, but he still wanted to give back. And he still wants to make sure that someone else get these. I can't even imagine going back to the Vietnam veterans and oh, the different wars mm-hmm. um, where there was no such thing as care packages. Yeah. Or if you got cookies or popcorn, I, I, I know that I when uh, older people come and uh, help us do these. They always go, where's the popcorn? They used to put popped popcorn into, oh, um, like, uh, for packing. For filling. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Huh. And I'm like, no, we don't do that anymore. And then <laughs> they get would... stuck in the machines. Yeah. Or, yeah. <laughs> we don't do that anymore. But yes, I think years ago, that's what it was. Sure. And maybe they did eat it afterwards. I don't know if it, or if it was just filling. Sure. It probably smelled good. We probably ate it. Probably <laughs> ate it. <laughs> I can't imagine that they wouldn't have eaten it. Um, and when I talk about uh, people receiving these care packages. Um, you know, Leanne, let me just interject sure. real quick before you go on because I just want to make sure to remind people about donating, where they can donate. For If you've just joined us, we're speaking with Jesse here. He's a veteran from the, um, the Marines, retired, right? Is Correct. That, and, yeah. um, and we're speaking, of course, the fabulous Leanne from fabulous. Support... <laughs> Executive Director and of the Wendy, Support the Fabulous Wendy, outstanding. <laughs> um, I, we're, we heard from Jesse, we, Leanne's talking a lot about this, the boxes and, and the, the importance of receiving from something from home when you're serving overseas. And um, we are so grateful uh, about the, for these sort of resources in our communities so that we can talk to people and say, who are struggling my you know we hear a lot of stories from Absolutely. people and and i'm like oh oh my gosh you have somebody yes. overseas you're struggling make sure you contact leanne and get your person on the list, list, the list yes. to receive so that that is something that you can do and anybody anywhere can get on that list there's a form on the website that you can fill out to submit correct so and we, whether you are army and i'm going to probably forget one so sorry <laughs> army navy marine Air Force, Air Force Navy, Coast Guard. Navy. Um, Did you say Navy? Yeah, you yes. Um, now we have Space, Space, what is the, oh, uh, the new one? Space Force. Space oh, Force. Yeah. Uh, I haven't mailed one there yet. Um, but yes, it doesn't matter what branch of service and it doesn't matter what state you're from. I would obviously like them to have a Wisconsin connection, but they probably do because they heard about us. Right, exactly. There is. So, right, you know, right, your right. mother's brother, sister's cousin's right. neighbor is overseas. Right. We will mail them a care package. So if you want to ha- donate and you don't, you don't know, maybe you don't want to do no Venmo. Anyone. and you, right. Maybe you don't want to do Venmo. Maybe you don't want to. Right. You don't know. Just call. Call Jason right now. Here's the number up here. He's waiting for your phone call. <laughs> and He's lonely over there. No, he just got another call. <laughs> but he, he will take your call. He can he can talk to you about if you want to send a check. He can You can do a credit card payment here. You can drop off the cash. Or you can mail it and I'm putting I just put the address for support the troops in there or you can do a Venmo um, what did Sherry just post in their Venmo or PayPal or PayPal excuse me Correct. Uh, Sherry just said to message her if you want to do Venmo and then she put a PayPal link in there so there's all sorts of ways to donate and you know what there is another way to donate oh. as well I know times are tough I work three jobs I think I've said that enough now I won't say it anymore <laughs> but not everyone has a lot of money. Mm-hmm. You can write this oh, yes. letter. Yes. You can take it home, have your family, your friends, fill this out. Thank you for your service. Merry Christmas. Thank you for what you do. And then get this back to us. I will leave some here one yep. day for you. Um, at the school kids, they love getting all these cards and letters. I know uh, one group had sent me a picture and the whole wall on the way to the mess hall was kids pictures oh. and letters and he said i don't know one person that walks through without stopping to look at one oh. the kids handprints that look like what is it turkeys, turkeys. Or, yeah. you know all that kind of stuff <laughs> um they love them and don't forget so many of these are parents sure that are away from their kids my daughter-in-law was uh, you know deployed and as a mom i just thought i just can't imagine a mom going yeah. being deployed like this dad's and they do every day. Mm-hmm. So let's let's really 
um, get these care packages out to them. Again, thank you so much for your donations. Uh, Wendy again is telling lots of ways that you can yep. donate, and I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a post for um, we'll talk about that in a little bit later. But um, I wanted to put a post about um, or a comment about items. Are you collecting items? Yes, we are so always. I took always, a wish list always. off your. Oh, you got yes, one there. I okay. have one. Yes. Okay. Jesse, I, I'm gonna let you sure. look at this a little bit and tell us what you think are the highlights. We do have se several drop off areas. Uh, Faith and Giggles here is awesome at uh, getting donations. You guys, for us. look at this! Real, in, just <laughs> oh my gosh! I would love to have them fill. We want to fill this bag. Oh yay! Do, do you re does anybody <laughs> out there remember when I did a Facebook Live and I tried climbing in this bag? Yeah, this oh, is the one. I okay. missed that one. Oh, one. <laughs> it was come on. It didn't. I was drinking a little wine. Yet. <laughs> Why? Well, he would love to fill this bag with stuff for to support the troops. So make sure you stop here. Or like Leanne, where else can they drop them off? If, they can if drop it's more them off at Pack and Ship in Hartford. Would love, love, love to have you stop. Stop and say hi yeah. to Jody. Thank you, Jody, for all your help with sending these care packages. Associated Bank in West Bend or Hartford will take your donation for us. I. Our building is in the back of Scoop DeVille. Uh, Ray and Carrie are so wonderful to us. And they will also take your donation. Jesse, what kind of donations could they bring in? That would be awesome to put in the There's some packages. great things on here, I tell you. Some of the things that I really like myself is the um, jerky, Slim Jim, summer sausage, beef sticks. Those are always popular. Protein bars, granola bars, canned tuna, believe it or not. A lot of service members, they have little, it's called a P38, which is a, it's called a John Wayne knife. It's a little can opener looking mm. thing. And it's just really convenient to cut open a can of tuna, pour out the water, put some pepper, eat it. It's really good. Oh, trust wow. me. Oh. I, was, um, I have to tell you a quick story. <laughs> Anyone who has ever come pack boxes with us will tell you, when I put boxes together, I always say, we have tuna here, but I will not put tuna in a box. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's ironic that you brought up the tuna because I never put tuna in my boxes. I don't like it. I wouldn't give it to anyone else. So, but if Jesse says that I like it, fine. Yeah, go ahead and bring it in. Yeah. I'll send it. I won't go in my box. Jesse will come back in for you. Some other stuff, though, is the peanut butter and jelly. And again, please no glass uh, on donations yes. for that stuff. And, yes. and or also, aerosols, right? No aerosols. aerosols. And also, please make sure they're not expired. Yes. Um, oh, that's bad. We do get that. And, and I don't think it's intentional. We, sure. It's we not, did have yeah. someone give a jar of peanut butter. And whoever was packing it said, it looks like it's open or half used. And we opened it and it was. I'm sure. <laughs> it was an accident. I, and, and, yeah, that they just <laughs> grabbed in there. And it just happened to be. And I, again, I have no idea who it was. But I. But yeah. would you have eaten it if it came to you and you were really hungry? <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. Please. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Um, so yes, go ahead, Jesse. And, Tell and, us a couple more. Well, you got card games again. You're fighting boredom, Absolutely. which is always a good thing to boost morale. And then I think the last thing on here, uh, last but not least, but you know definitely important, is the cards and letters of support. Mm. Is one of the Absolutely. last things you have on we here, so. we put as many of those in as we can. Again, if anyone has a daycare or a school, or um, you know if you and your family want to sit and. Uh, make these uh, adorable stickers. We have lots and lots of them. Um, I don't have any here with me tonight. I have them at the building, again, over by Scoop DeVille. Um, I must say we are housed in the back of Scoop DeVille, kind of where the ramp is at 62 North Johnson Street, but I am not there all the time. So please do not leave donations back there. Every once in a while, just I will get a here. phone. Yeah, I'll get a phone call from Ray, and he's like, "Somebody just dropped off some boxes <laughs> oh, no. or bags, and one of us has to run down there and get it." And I'm not there all the time because I do other things. You do. Um, you three jobs. Three I'm not mentioning it. I'm not mentioning it. So, um, yes, um, but I, I would love your donation. I would just like for you to drop it off and see Wendy or Jody. Yeah, we got it right or here. Or the people over at Associated Bank that would love to do that. So and we got to fill this. Now. Yes. Yes. So that I'm not climbing in it. Yes. <laughs> I honestly would have loved to have seen that Facebook. Live. I'm going to have to go back to the, pretty. the history it and look for it. Was it was last year. Wow. Okay. I, I wonder if we should do like a three-legged race. Yeah, right. There, there you go. Yeah. So please help us fill that. Um, again, if, if you are at the grocery store and just want to pick up a couple extra items, drop them off, we would love that. Uh, let's not forget the ladies over there. Uh, again, the government does not cover everything. Um, feminine health care products, um, maybe a nice comb or 
I don't know, bobby pins or a, something for their hair or, you know, a nice pair of girly socks, um, some awesome smelling soap, which guys probably like once in a while too, just different scents. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yes. We, what, could we, you smell my soap? Is that no, what you're saying? I'm oh. just saying. They didn't oh. like it. I was oh, no. saying, I don't know. <laughs> I was going, none of my kids ever said, wow, mom, that was awesome soap you said. But I did send that as well. Um, well, because you do separate packages for females. We do, female, for, right? for females or males, correct. And um, so, yeah, and we do make them gender neutral. You know, if we're doing sure. a girl box, we obviously will put those girl items in where the guys we will not. I do have to, I'm full of stories. I swear I should write a book. <laughs> Um, I do remember when my son was overseas, I was mailing, I didn't have a girl address where he was stationed. So I would send him to him and he said, mom, I've got to give you a name. I don't like the women coming up going, did your mom send you anything today? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I, yes, give me a girl name and I'll send it to them instead. We sent to the chaplains as well. So I'm sure they take care of everyone. Um, nice. Thank you so much for coming in, Jesse. Yeah, thank you no for problem. Your service. Well, wait, for Jesse. Me. Oh, wait. just for coming and showing up and 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 supporting this fundraiser. Look at what you get. Awesome. Oh you my get... gosh, if I would have known. <laughs> yeah, I have one for you too. They it blinks. Where's the button? Hold on. Well, no, if I, you don't have enough, I should. It's have... okay. Give oh, it to I Jesse do. instead. Oh, I have enough. <laughs> what are you? Who are you talking to? You I know. know. I know. Oh, I should have had this. Oh, hold on. Now I got to turn this on so everybody can. Well, see. well. If any of my basketball girls at the high school see this, they're gonna oh, want yes, me to wear this. I guarantee. I know. It. Oh, we would like to see that picture on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> How do you turn it um, on? I <laughs> don't know, but I also have gifts. Again, our building is oh, housed behind Scoop to Bill. And we have a free pint of ice cream. Oh, for you. Yes. Oh, awesome. Uh, so, well, thank um, you very much. You are much. very welcome. They are very wonderful to us. And here's thank you for stuff. coming in. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I did not know you were going to get no, this over awesome here, and gift. Now my gift of, isn't as good. Huh? All sorts of different it's options. So, great. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for your service. Yeah, thank, thank you so much. And thank for, you guys for having you me. You are very and welcome. Thank you for coming in. Anything else you ever need from me, please. Don't hesitate. I, I work a couple number. jobs too, you know. Yeah. So, uh, so. I'm not the only one that works. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Wendy plays all day, so uh, I don't know. Hey, right, don't trip on all my stuff. No, I'm good. Um, and we actually have a another wait. guest. Wait, we gotta wait though. Yes. Okay. I, yeah. Thank you so much, yeah. Jesse. Yeah. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you. We have another guest, but we Wendy, do. how can you? How can you how donate? How can you donate? Okay, so um, we're. What's that? Call Jason. Call Jason. Jason. He's bored. Right here, right here. You got to call 262 397 8689. And if you don't get paid for two weeks or three weeks, or if you want to wait till January when they are begging for care packages, you can drop one off. But call us right now and yeah. tell us you're going to do yeah. it yeah. so that Jason knows That's and true. he's. Not it's, sitting over there. We hope there's not a bottle of wine over there because otherwise no, we're not going to have Jason no, with us here very long. <laughs> so, so you guys, one care package, the postage is twenty two fifty just to send the care package, just for postage. Right. So even if you just cover one, right. would be fabulous. Yes. Or 10 bucks or five, right. whatever, whatever. I so. am going to also up the ante a little bit, and I'm Ooh. sure there's a few, a few of you out there who also are looking to donate. You just haven't hit the buttons on the phone yet. Um, Jason, for the next person that calls you, I am going oh. to give away another free pint of ice cream at Scoop de Bell. Ooh. So please call, please donate okay. to us. Um, this postage money is desperately needed um, to send these uh, care packages. As I said, we do this year round. And um, even though month. right now we are getting a lot of money Again, come January, February, March. That's when you're doing. We that. don't have these events going right. on, and we still need the money right. to send these care packages. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to continue to send them. So, if you go, if you're going to the website to donate or pen, uh, PayPal, pen pal, <laughs> PayPal, <laughs> whatever that is. A <laughs> um, if you could just give us a call or comment in the section that you made a donation. Or even if you want to keep it private, you could send us a private message on Facebook or you could email us at Faith and Giggles. Twitter. All right, Jason, let me know who calls you or emails yep. you or yep. uh, PayPal's you next. And I will get oh, yeah. that. I will leave it here for uh, Wendy. Free ice cream. All we need is a, a phone call. Of ice cream from Scoop Develop. Right here, you guys. Here's the number. Okay. And now I'm going to do a trivia question to see if you guys are all oh, paying attention. Oh, I didn't know there was trivia. Oh, yeah. I've got, I've got okay. trivia. I've got All prizes. right, good. Okay, and this kind of 
Jesse said that they love getting activities games and, and games. activities. Absolutely. This, this is a um, this is like a uh, Jenga type thing with yeah. all these different questions. The Christmas Jenga. So, oh, Woo! all right, oh, there goes all the right, call. who's calling? <laughs> who's calling? All right. So the first person that I see that answers the question will receive this Jenga game. Well, it's not really true Jenga. It's a it's an activity game though. It's like a Christmas Jenga. Okay, so what branch of the military did Jesse just or did Jesse um, retire from? What branch of the military Ooh. was he in? Were you paying attention? <laughs> were you paying attention? I hope you were. I could give a clue, but I'm not going to. So the, the first person that I see that yes. that um, I'm going to see if I'm am I not getting all my I'm making sure that I'm getting my messages because I don't okay. see anything moving, Leanne. Maybe I didn't do oh something. Oh my gosh! Right. If you are, wouldn't out that there, be bad? <laughs> please let us know that we are actually not just sitting here talking to a phone because I would like to know that we're talking to someone. Oh no! I hope that I have this on the right. I did something before. Okay, no, I think we should be good. I should be okay. seeing. I don't see any messages coming up. If you guys are, if you're answering. I'm not seeing it right now. Do I see anything pop? Oh, wait. There is something happening on my phone, though. Okay. Well, okay. Wendy. Marines, oh. Ruth said. Okay. Ruth, see, it's not popping up on my on my computer. Okay. So I see I see Ruth Gehring. I saw first. Okay. Ruth Gehring, Marines is correct. That is the correct Woo! answer. So, Ruth, I should write this down so that I don't forget. You win this. And, um, and Leanne, I'm going to let you start introducing our next guest. All right. I actually met this next guest after I met his family. We were doing an event down at Scoop DeVille called Scoop with the Troops, and we had veterans come down and scoop ice cream. And I believe someone must have told this family about it because their person was deployed. So they came down and introduced themselves, and I'm very much a people person. Love the family, love the kids. Um, I know what the families go through when their person is deployed. And so I heard all about this person before I ever met him. And then when he came back and I brought it with me tonight, um, I was presented Aww. with a flag that was flown in support of the troops honor um, from this uh, gentleman. So Brad, come on over. All right. Come on in, Brad. <laughs> Sorry, we got tight quarters That's here. No problem. No problem. <laughs> Um, Brad and I uh, got to know each other on the phone first. On the phone, on the video um, chat, that's right. While his family was down packing care packages for him, he called, mm -hmm. and I'll let you tell the story. Yep, so I actually met Leanne while I was in Kuwait. Um, I called at the normal time that I usually call my wife. Uh, we were video chatting. So I called her, and she didn't look like she was at home. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I found out. She was over at uh, at Leanne's, Leanne's place packing boxes. Um, they were trying to surprise me because they were going to pack some boxes and send oh, them over I didn't for, know that. for me and my friends. But uh, <laughs> um, So I met Leanne on the video chat um, at that point. Awesome. Yeah. And I continued to have contact with his family. They came down and packed boxes. I believe your in-laws even came with them. Yep. Uh, my my mother-in-law came down at least right. once. And yep. helped. And then I got... The honor, and again, I'm I'm sorry, I'm a crier. Um, I got to meet Brad when he came home, and again, that's the goal that they all come home. Yeah. Um, so in the meantime, we send them these care packages, but we want them back on U.S. soil. And when I met Brad, of course, I probably hugged him like one of my own kids. Um, I was just so glad he was home, and I knew his family was so happy. He has three children, a wonderful wife, uh, Robin. And even though she held things together, I'm sure very well. Yes, she did. Um, they are so excited when dad comes home, hubby comes home. They are not um, the only parent anymore. No. Um, and Brad presented me with this flag and a certificate that said this was flown in our honor for supporting them while they were overseas. I don't deserve this. The, the volunteers deserve this because you guys do this for me. Again, I don't do this alone, and I'm so grateful that I get so much help doing this. Um, you who help us pay for these boxes deserve this. I always post thank you notes on our Facebook page because I should not be the only one that cries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't like crying alone. Um, I get these wonderful thank you notes from the people who are deployed, 
um, just telling us how much it means, how excited they were, how they didn't even know they were getting a box or didn't know who we were, or the occasional, where is Hartford? Yeah. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of Google from overseas, where is yeah. Hartford, Wisconsin. Yeah. Um, and I, I, when I get these, I don't, I don't take them lightly. Um, I know you guys are very busy overseas. You're not just sitting there waiting to get this box. You actually are working. Um, and so when I get these thank you notes, I know they've taken time out of their schedule. Um, and I'm going to have Brad, you didn't know, again, you, yeah. we put you guys to work. Just, jobs, huh? You know, it's not just a pretty face. You got to work. Um, we had Jesse do the wish list. And I'm going to have Brad read a couple of the thank you notes that have uh, sure. come in. Um, because it is so important to those of you who are helping us out tonight and have helped us out in the past and that will help us out in the future. Um, again, the money that we need for the postage gets these care packages to them. Um, Wendy, why don't you tell us quick one more time yep. how they can help us out. So we would love, love some help. Love. To love the help. We need lots of love. <laughs> we, they need lots of love. It's, they do need lots of love and deserve lots of love. They do. And it's all those sacrifices that um, they make um, in honor of the country and, and people like us. And I'm very grateful. And that's why we are so committed to, it was hard getting this particular fundraiser in this year because <laughs> was, we know so busy. Everybody's so busy. so busy, but it was, Jason and I were just absolutely determined because we are so grateful. And I, I don't feel like I do. I mean, I, I see all the things you're doing and then all the people who are serving and all the different things going on. And like, if we can just it's do a this group one effort. thing, it's, yes. it's, it is a group effort, but that's, this event is important for us, this fundraiser. And if they can't give twenty two fifty, I know that's what mm -hmm. the box costs. $5. Yep. yep. Sent a quarter of a box. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And a letter. A even letter, just a letter. The letters, the yep. cards. You know, we yep. all get greeting cards at home that we, you know, get for different occasions and maybe don't use. Um, we would love to have you stop at Faith and Giggles and drop those off. Again, if you have any way of donating five dollars or ten dollars we would love to have you do that um we would love to help you ha help us out with the postage and again right now at christmas it is so important that we get those over there but in january and february and march when people are forgetting yeah. you know right now everyone is thinking yeah. you know the soldiers you know are, are going to be gone for christmas they're still gone in january february march in june you know, you're going on your family vacation. They're in the desert, but they're not going on vacation. Right. So if you can help us out even with $5. Um, and you can do that by calling 262-397-8689. You can check out the links that are in the comments. Sherry's been doing a fabulous job, Sherry. Thanks, thank you. Sherry, who's thank also you, a thank veteran. You. Yep. Thank oh, you. Yes, Shout out to veterans. Yep, and she's been putting, she put the wish list in there. I saw that, Sherry. Thank you. All the different things. So you can do pay, PayPal. You can do Venmo. Um, check out the links for that. You can also go to the website and use their donation option there on the website at um, www.supportthetroopswi.com okay. or you can call Jason which somebody just did 262 at that number and you can drop this check off anytime you don't have to even pay over the phone with a credit card if you right. want just tell them you're going to stop in this week next week with a check or whenever you can right and just we want to just get a tally we just want to get a tally you, you can make the checks out to support the troops yes thank you um right directly to us we are a 501c3 we are a nonprofit, so your check is tax deductible and we appreciate so much the support that you give to us that it's not giving to us it's giving to them it's giving to the men and women who are away from home that we are sending these care packages to and when they receive these care packages and they send me back these thank yous, that really is going to you as well. Yeah. Um, Brad, it, I just took a couple sure. that we have recently got. Um, if you wanted to share a couple. Sure. So, good evening. Uh, myself and my Marines are grateful to have organizations like yourself that go out of their way to support the troops. Thank you. Respectfully, Sergeant Carlos H. USMC. Good morning. I just wanted to reach out and say thank you for the care packages that were sent to us recently. They were greatly appreciated and really increased morale, especially for the younger Marines here in Bahrain. Many of the young Marines have never left home before, and your care packages brought home a little piece of home for them. Yes. We're extremely grateful. God bless and happy holidays. Jason. 
Uh, good afternoon. Thank you kindly for the care packages that were sent to our command. The Marines with Fleet Anti-Terrorism Security Company aboard NSA Bahrain are filled with gratitude for the gifts. Jacob. Good morning. Thank you so much for the care packages that you have sent. It really brightens our weeks when we receive them. Gabriel. And again, it's not that the, I, I expect, I don't expect anything back on this. You don't do this because you right. expect something back. You do it because I, I believe it's the right thing to do to volunteer. And I've been volunteering since I was 14 years old. My parents believed in it. And um, I was a, a, I forgot what, candy striper. Oh, I was just going to yeah, say that. I, I, yeah, like, in, in Milwaukee. Yeah. Um, For yes. some reason, I knew that that's what you were going to say. Like a good thing. Thank you. <laughs> I, I did. I wrote letters for people. I read books to people at a nursing oh, home, yeah. Lutheran Manor in oh, Milwaukee. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, I used to help them with their meals. They had little apartments and they could maybe get part of the meal ready, but not all of it ready. Sure. So I did that for years. Um, I volunteered at the hospital uh, several years ago um, until I got a little too busy doing yeah. my own. <laughs> um, and again, when I started this, I never thought I would mail 14,000 care packages, but I didn't do it alone. I did yeah. it with help from people like you, you know, you and Jason, who came forward and said, you know, can we help you send care packages? Yes. We would love for you to help yes. us send care packages. Yes, and we want um, your help yes. to help us now. Yes, and so if you can help us out in any way um, to send more care packages, I want to hit that 15,000 yes. now that I have a goal. Right, <laughs> and what, what's the number again? Say it that, you've, that you're at. Uh, it's about 14,236 right now. Oh, yeah. So I wish it were so a close. little closer, mm -hmm. but still, oh. the fact that we've mailed 14,000 blows me away. Can you tell us, Brad, just what it means to get one of these boxes? It, it's so, When you open it, you know? It's just so important. I, I know when we were overseas, we had, we had 200 people in our unit, and Leanne sent every person in our, in our unit uh, care package twice. So everybody got one for thing, for for Christmas, and everybody got one another time. There was just a, a big mass of, of boxes in the mailroom, and Aww. everybody got one. I, I just picture that mailroom. I'm sure the company <laughs> clerk is going, God, oh, so oh, tiny, man. Just filled with boxes. Yeah. <laughs> Come and get your boxes. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. And again, I don't know if there's like a mail call where you know, like on you saw on Mash. They go, you know, Corporal Klinger or whatever. Yep. But, I mean, if they really do that or, you know, I, I don't know, like even with well, my own kids. We were in a hard stand hospital, so there was there would be an overhead page that said, you know, we have care packages for everybody. So everybody Woo! stop everybody <laughs> stop by the mailroom and pick up your care package. Oh, that's and awesome. Then, you know, the other people would get the care packages and they would just announce the names that, that had mail that day. Oh, my, so, and how, how you, exciting. How did yeah. you get the names of every, like, how did that happen? You got, did somebody tell you how many people were in that? I believe company, I believe his wife got yeah. a hold of the uh, oh. company. The it's roster, usually yeah. the um, family readiness officer. The FRG, the FRG um, officer. Then. I, I will tell you, when my children were deployed, we had the most amazing. I had one child deployed from the 115th in Madison, and I had another one deployed from Cherry Point, North Carolina. I sat and ate popcorn on the computer and watched Cinderella because that's what they were doing. <laughs> They included us in going to Wisconsin Dells, even though my children were deployed with their, they never made me not feel. They're like, at 10, or maybe it wasn't 10 o'clock, 8 o'clock tonight, we're having a pizza party. Go get yourself a pizza, log on, and call us. Wow. I, huh. I cannot say enough about how wonderful our family readiness was. Um, our family hmm. readiness for North Carolina, the commander was getting ready to retire. And they had taken um, everyone's, I don't know what these are called, name badges. Name, name tapes. And made a quilt for him. Oh, wow. So we all had to get our kids to donate them. And then they made his wife a bag with his out of his uniform. So this is my son's uniform. Wow. I'm a 10th Star General. That's why I have two name badges. <laughs> um, uh, one says U.S. Marine and one says U.S. Air Force. And my children's last name is Scott. So I really have two Scots. Um, so, uh, and again, when I carry this around and people make a comment to me, I'm so grateful that my kids came home. And so if your kids came home or your husband came home or your grandpa came home 
support another vet trip because it is so important for them to get these care packages. I cannot say enough um, when I get these thank you notes um, to share the, the, again, the morale. If I could be anywhere a fly on the wall, there might be a few places I'd like to be, but one would be in the mail room. Mm -hmm. I would like to see Brad coming from work or I don't know if they let you go to lunch or however it is. <laughs> All right, Brad, it's 1,500 hours you get to go to lunch or whatever. That, I don't even know what time that really is. Three o'clock. Now we're just um, making stuff up here. That's what we do. <laughs> no, 1,500 is a real yeah, hour, right? right? Yeah. yeah. That's See, you're yeah. actually yeah. no you military. Right. Right. Yes. Right. So, um, you know, you can go on lunch now or however it is, but um, <sighs> you have a care package waiting for you. Yeah. And, and Brad's like, it a bit to go get them. Yeah. They know and again, there. what is in them, I, I, I don't want to say we could put anything in them, but whatever is in them is full of love. Sure. And we can't send these without postage costs. So, Wendy, how can they help us? Oh, you can help us several ways. Number one, Ooh. call us at 262 397 8689. Awesome. <laughs> you are doing a great job I can, working. I can see Jason through the forest of Christmas trees here and he's smiling but he's bored he needs <laughs> and he's you know he's antsy so he needs somebody to call him and I know this is a hard time of year everyone is you know maybe I have gone out shopping yet but some people I've heard have gone out Christmas shopping um and I'm a little busy doing care packages which is awesome thing to do right now but even if you can give us five dollars if you want to send us five dollars after Christmas um, call Jason and let him know that you're going to be dropping off. And you'll get one of these. Oh, the awesome. next person. The next person. Oh, Jason, the person you better keep track calls. of all this. Um, all, all right. right. He's not hat. too busy, so let get him busy. Um, you know, give us a call and say, I'm going to drop off a check for $10. I'm going to drop off um, a card with um, some letters yep. for the troops. Um, and I'll put a couple dollars in it for you uh, to help with postage costs. Um, again, when I talk about these Christmas care packages, um, I will not make it through this letter. Um, I wrote this poem, sort of, um, many years ago, and I have used it every Christmas since, um, because it really means a lot to me that they are not home at Christmas, um, for them to at least get a box and let them know we're thinking of them at home. Um, I, I'm, Wendy, I'm going to put you to work. Yes. Um, this is the letter I composed years ago. Um, and we put a letter in every care package that says, thank you for your service. Thank you for what you're doing. Um, but this is a Christmas one we put together. Twas the night before Christmas and all through the land, the people felt safe. So they made up a plan. Let's send a few care packages to those far away, away from their families all night and every day. They deserve even more than what we can send. Still, the community came together and did their best for their heroes. They collected snacks, books, and more for those who serve, hoping to make them feel special, remembered, and deserved. At this time of year, when we get Leanne's call asking, can you help pack boxes for those currently overseas? We answer quite humbly, no problem at all. It's time to remind them how wonderful they are how much we admire their commitment to all. So tonight we all gather in friendship, love and laughs and send you these presents, holiday wishes and never ending respect. We wish you were home with your family and friends, but know we did our best to make you feel special and we all feel blessed to be part of this task. Whether you are Army, Marines, Navy, Air Force or Coast Guard, you are in our thoughts and prayers today and always. A hundred percent. I I can't I can't tell you um, from the perspective of like you, Brad, who gets it. But I know what it means to me when I receive these thank you notes. Them telling me what it meant to them. And again, I can't do this by myself. For many years, ask my husband. <laughs> I did pay the postage to send these boxes. Um, I just can't physically mail the amount that I would like to send. Um, we get a lot of churches and uh, Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts that give us the donations to put in the boxes, but we've got to get it there. Yeah. So the postage is where that money comes in. So if you can help us out with postage costs, Jason and Wendy have wonderfully, wonderfully offered 
uh, to match the first $500. Mm -hmm. If you can help us, please get to that amount. That would be amazing. Um, again, thank your own family and friends um, who are in the military and take time out of their lives, literally. Um, how long were you gone, Brad? I was gone for, for a year total. We were okay. Again, take a year out of your life. Wow. Um, birthdays. Your kids got older, right? Yeah, they did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, your wife, that's a year out of your marriage, you know, that you weren't there, that, you know, the memories that were not made because you were deployed. Right. And thank you so much for that. You know, you know, I hope what it means to me. Um, my children, again, you know, it, it, I'm so grateful to them. Um, so whatever you guys can do to help us send these care packages and help with postage costs, please call Jason and let him know that you're going to help us out. Um, again, I know it's a very hard time of year. Um, people have been out of um, out of work and maybe you know can't help us out a lot. A couple dollars helps go a long way. Maybe at Christmas or the next event you guys are together, um, putting wrapping gifts or something. Maybe everyone could put a dollar in um, and send us a couple dollars. Yep, yep, that's awesome. Um, so I know I saw that we Jason says we froze a couple times so I hope that you're not having too many technical difficulties on that side but what I am seeing is a lot of people commenting thank you Brad for your service oh so thank I just wanted you to tell thank you, you for doing that and yeah. Jesse as well and Jesse there was for yes. Jesse and I I'm sure he'll go back and look at comments yes. hopefully thank you and so thank you for those messages as yes well. yeah. um, and again to your family I, I truly say the family serves with you um, yeah, they do. I know my daughter-in-law, when my son was overseas, you know, the extra daycare costs because there's only one parent picking up. Yeah. So it's got to be, you know, you know, one parent doing it. Life's got to keep going on, right. right? Dishwasher breaks. Not that my son could fix it, but she had to call someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, you know, he's not that guy. But, um, you know, there, there's just other expenses, yeah. you know, that are incurred. Again, now you need two shampoos, right? You need two deodorants, you need two of everything because you're using them at home and we're gonna help you out with them, but we've gotta get them there. Yeah. So I need help with postage costs. I'm, I'm so amazed at how much work goes into that end of it. Like you're yes. talking about just, this is raising money for postage, but all the work that's gotta go into it before, it, like we, there's the collecting of the items. Well, somebody's gotta purchase them, collect them. Get your volunteers together. I see you posting all the time, right? Um, and then, and then actually do the packaging. And um, is, are they are still um, donating the, the space over there at uh, Scoopdevil Scoop is still, still donating, donating the space. space to us. We are so blessed. This is going to whoever just called. I just Yay! heard the phone. Yay! Yay! Thank you. <laughs> They're um, coming in hats. We don't sell them here either. <laughs> oh, you don't? No, we oh. do not. You can oh, buy I it. did not know <laughs> that. <laughs> Oh yeah, Liam, you're gonna get one tonight. I am going to be so excited. <laughs> um, I may even put it in a care package and have oh, it overseas. Oh, I wish I. You would. never. Are you still sending some out for Christmas? We yet? are. I. If you know me and you ever send care packages, I will run out of letters every single time because I think we're gonna do 50 boxes and we end up doing 65. So I have 15 over there right oh. now without letters. So I will still have time. Um, well, we'll until... donate 15 or whatever you need okay. for them. We're gonna right. donate yes. to your boxes, um, whatever we, you got. We had Santa's elves over there today putting boxes together. Um, and again, I will tell you, we have had kids come and help us. We, I don't know the age of the certain person who I'm talking about today who came and helped. She's in her 80s. I hope to be walking and talking and breathing, oh, much yeah. less putting care packages together. Um, so thank you to that special uh -huh. person. She knows who she is. Um, so yes, they, they came and put these packages together. I will get them out as fast as I can so that they get them before the holiday. Um, and then I will send them out in January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and next year I'm going to be asking you again for help because I, I will do this for as long as there are people over there deployed and we have addresses and people like you, wonderful people who help us out. So again, if there's any way you can help us out with postage costs, uh, Wendy, how can they do that? They can call at 262-397-8689. <laughs> oh, I'm like, what is he doing? They can use a credit card. You can use a credit card and, and pay right away if you'd like and get it done with. We'll take that. Or you can let us know what you're going to do. If you're going to drop off a check or some cash or you want to go to the website, but just let us know so we can add it to our tally. In fact, Jason, do we have an update on the amount? I haven't really asked that. 
I don't think he's doing anything over there, really. Oh, my gosh. We need to know. Are we just sitting here talking or what? Has anyone had dinner yet? I know. <laughs> so with our contribution, um, we're at 1000 Oh, woo! Right. Yay! Awesome. Go ahead. Go ahead. One thousand five hundred sixty-five. Wow. Wow. Awesome. Oh, I. All right. I didn't you. realize. Thank I, you so much. And, and you know our. Uh, you know our goal is twenty one hundred. Well, it's it was twenty one hundred <laughs> until I realized that I had the wrong. I didn't post her number. with the correct information. What was our total last year? Well, we we were going for twenty one hundred, and we went over it at the end because we had some last minute. Yes, Remember that? How fun yes, that was? That was yes. crazy at the end there. Yes. Um, um, you could donate five dollars and have your name put mm -hmm. on a star, yep. and you had to pick which branch of service yep. you wanted to win. I don't remember who won. I don't remember either. Oh, it had to be army. It, 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 it could have been. been. <laughs> Let's just say it was. Uh, okay, <laughs> but it was army. Yes, and um, then they gave away a wonderful gift basket as well. Oh, yeah, we were doing the, oh, the gift basket. Yes. Thing. and yep. um, I, I don't know who's all calling, but again, if you call. Um, call Jason right now. Jason, write down the next person. I'm going to give away another pint of ice cream Ooh, from wait. Scoop DeVille. I like, I like Rocky Road and Butter Pecan in case anyone wants to know. <laughs> I'm sure they have wonderful flavors. I don't know about those kind. I only know kind I like. Um, Brad, I have, again, we're just talked about Army. Yep. Um, I, I talk about these thank you notes because they are so important. Um, Again, I'm going to put you to work sure. a little bit. Um, you're going to be Vanna here, or okay. what's his name, Pat? Pat. <laughs> um, this is a letter I received from a unit. Um, I don't know if everyone can see this picture, but um, what does it say on the back, Brad? This is from the Department of the Army. Certificate of Achievement is awarded to Support the Troops, Wisconsin. For exceptionally meritorious achievement in recognition of your support and dedication to Battle Group Poland Soldiers. Your selfless volunteering provided the battle group with care packages and support that lifted the spirits of all soldiers and NATO partners while serving forward in rotation. Your patriotic donations were instrumental in boosting our unit's morale and esprit de corps of all soldiers throughout our ranks. We are proud to recognize your heartfelt dedication to the service of our men and women who sacrificed so much while serving in the United States military. Can you imagine wow. opening this? I, I'm usually at home alone. It just <laughs> so nice. happens my family just recently... Uh, moved out they were building a home so they stayed with us for a while and so I'm at home and I'm like oh look some mail and then I see an APO or FPO <laughs> and I'm already excited and I'm opening this going you don't even have to thank me but I'm so glad you did yeah that's um, nice. and then I read these words and of course by the end I can't see anymore it's so professional it's um, just like so like it's it's a beautiful certificate yeah. yes mm -hmm. and um when I get these thank you notes, I am so grateful. But again, I can't do this alone. Um, I have wonderful volunteers that help us get these wonderful things. Um, not things, these wonderful thank you notes and certificates. And this is the fabulous unit that sent it to me, to us. Um, so be one of us and please help us uh, send these care packages overseas. Um, Wendy... So you can call Jason, again, like we said, number is right above there. Or you can also go to the website, www.supportthetroopswi.com. There is a donate now or a donate button where you can click um, and go to that page and make a donation. You can um, also, there's a uh, PayPal or Venmo option. Check the comments, Sherry is posting that sort of information in the comments, I've seen it several times there. Um, or you can just drop a check off, just, or cash if you'd like, um, later this week, next week, but just give Jason a call and let him know that you're gonna be stopping in and we'll add it to our tally for today. Absolutely, thank you so much in advance for helping us out. Um, again, if you can just give us a call and say, you know what, Jason, I'm gonna be stopping in your fabulous store, looking at all your awesome all Christmas sparkly. trees. And I mean, what an awesome <laughs> store to stop in if you have to stop anywhere. See, I blocked um, it off. You can't yeah. see the sparkles back here. They're all um, over here. The Christmas <laughs> trees and uh, you know the ornaments and the, the religious items. And I'm looking at um, a wonderful sign. It says it's the most wonderful time of the year. And it really is. It's uh, we get to spend time with our families.
There are families who don't get to get together with their loved ones because they're uh, deployed overseas. Um, and so let's let's send some more care packages to them. Let's remember them in January, February, and March, and June, and send these care packages. So again, if you can help us out with even five dollars, um, the cost of the box is twenty two fifty. But we will put all that money together and we will send these care packages. Um, I would love to hear the phone ring at least one or two more times. Um, and we will get, you know, we'll get so excited. Yeah, we get, <laughs> I have cowbells in here. Oh, my gosh. I, I, forgot, I just was that. thinking of it right now. I'm like, I have cowbells in there that I'm going to awesome. ring a ding ding for the okay. next one. I don't <laughs> all right. So, Brad, thank yes. you so much for coming. Oh, thank you for having me. And, and Brad, this you, was fun. You get, awesome. you get the coveted oh, bling as this well. Is great. Yeah, the necklace and the, and the hat. My girls are going to love yes. this. Yes. How many girls do you have? Two. Oh, do you want two different, two halves so that they don't argue? Oh, no. I, okay, I, you sure? It's fine. <laughs> I know what that is. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> He actually has a son, but I, I don't think I, his... Does well, he's, okay. not, he's not going to be as a boy. I was going to say, he is not going to be excited. I, I know D, and right. he's going to go, you can keep you it, You can Dad. keep it. <laughs> but I also am going to give Brad oh, so um, a pint yes. of <laughs> ice cream. Um, I did give these out at, uh, to the veterans at the VFW Veterans Day Dinner to say thank you. Um, for the past about 10 years, I do a free auction um, every veteran gets a free ticket, and then I have wonderful gifts from the community um, that donate them. Uh, Scoop DeVille helps us out lots of times. Uh, Jason and Wendy have helped us out with gift cards, and yep. I, I raffle those off. So you probably already have one, so you can take Robin and have a, a date night. Awesome. Or did you use it already? We haven't used it yet. All right, now you got two. Robin, <laughs> this is for you. The other one's for him. Uh, date night uh, without the kids or bring the kids. Um, thank you so much yeah, for thank coming. Thank you for your service, Brad. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Thank, thank you, coming. as always. Yeah. I'm so of grateful course. to you and of your course. wonderful family. Um, for putting up with me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Brett. Awesome. Thank you for coming right. in. I better let you out if you want. Are you, you going to stick around? Or you okay, gonna nobody's going to be left on the camera, so I'm going to just say hi. Okay, <laughs> hi. <laughs> uh, I really am you. So. Uh, thank you so much for helping us out. Um, maybe they need a break from us, Wendy. Um, so, um, I, I, again, support the troops. Um, if you can uh, see the number here, 262-397-8689. Um, thank you for calling. Thank you for supporting us. I cannot thank you enough for... Who gets the Christmas hat? I don't think anybody could get sick of this. Do you? No, but when pigs fly... <laughs> I know we can do this. I know we can do you this. You are <laughs> awesome, Wendy. <laughs> Come on, the lady put on a big hat. Come on, who's going to call? You're not going to get my pig. Oh, I'll tell you, I might consider donating my pig hat for the right donation. I don't know. I don't well, know. Well, I, see. Only, I only gave away <laughs> one certificate so far, right? That's right. Jason, or did I give away two? I Who did? Cheryl. Maureen Mitchell. Oh, yay! Who did? Maureen. Oh, yay, Maureen. Thank you. Uh, Okay, awesome. mark, mark the names okay, down. Mark down. Okay. And did you mark down who my certificates go to? Yes, Laura Oh, thank you, Laura. <laughs> and the other one goes to... Hey, Leanne, do you want one? I will put one on. <laughs> I'll turn it on for you. Jason is keeping track, we promise. Um, <laughs> and if you are the one that called in, please let me know and I will get this to you. I will leave them here at Faith and Giggles. Uh, you can stop over and pick these up. I really am so grateful. Laura, uh, who uh, Jason said donated, um, does a fabulous job uh, putting um, trial size shampoos and conditioners into uh, bags for oh. us that we include. I don't know if I look as good as Wendy mm -hmm. in this. Um, I don't know why it's hers good, is Leanne. standing up so pretty, but my I said I have it cranked down. <laughs> Um, so thank you so much to everyone who is helping us out with this event. Um, I am so, so grateful to be able to continue to do this 15 years later. I honestly never thought that I would still be doing this. I can't imagine. I, I had no... Did you, when you started, you were like, no. I'm just going to do this. And then... I thought I was just sending a couple care packages yeah. to my kids. Right. And I, I, I just, it, it broke my heart this is how to hear... 
Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> um, that there were families who could not afford to send their children care packages. A lot of oh, times yeah. it's the first or the last child maybe leaving. Yeah. And I'm going to adjust my head here. Yeah. Um, and there just isn't a lot of money. Or, again, there's other expenses at home, especially when their families, you know, someone in their family is deployed. Yeah. So we step in and become mom and dad or cousins or aunts or uncles or whoever it is um, to them. Um, again, when I receive these thank you notes, saying what it meant to them to receive it. Let's help that morale. Um, please call Jason at this number here. Um, even if you can drop off $5 to uh, Jason or Wendy in the next uh, couple weeks, or if you want to come in in January. Um, again, I do this year round. It's not like in January, we won't need the money or February right. or right. June, you know? Right. So um, there are several times a year that we do ask you to help us out. I usually put on Facebook um, yep. if we're looking for something. Uh, so you definitely could help us out that way. Okay, you guys. So now we have um, another another trivia oh question. Oh, my gosh. I'm Only... glad we are not playing this game. I know. Look at, <laughs> look at which game you're going to win if you get the question right. Oh, my now before, gosh. Now, before I say the question, I just want to say I know that... I know that you see, so, you know, we have done lots and lots of Facebook Lives, and when you ask questions, people at home, when people are answering, they yes. see things coming in a different order than I see them on my computer, than okay. somebody else sees them. It just right. is the way it is. Um, I used to, to try and Delayed. be... Delayed. Yeah, I used to yes. be official, and I would go back after the event and make sure yes. I got the timestamp right. We don't have time for that anymore. <laughs> Not in the middle of Christmas season right, in retail. Right, right. So I that's why I said whatever I see first. It's like pulling a name out of a hat. Yes. So we're, there's gonna be a lot of right answers. It's not about who gets it first. It's right. gonna be whoever I see first is the first answer of the um is gonna be the winner. And that's and just the way it I'm is. So that was so nice of you to give these gifts away. Yeah. But who is the winners in this? Yeah. The the soldiers. The soldiers. Yeah. They mm -hmm. get our care packages. So if we can send those care packages to them and if you guys know someone who is yeah. currently deployed even now or if you know of someone six months from now yeah please let us know there are several ways you can get a hold of us you can go to our website you can stop at faith and giggles mm -hmm. here you can go over to scoop deville and say hey i know someone deployed who's that lady um so <laughs> that lady who's that lady <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what is your gift? Okay, so the gift is one of these games. Um, we have one. I was going to bring it over here, and I forgot. But it's you blow it up, and it's a hat, and then you throw the rings. It's a, like a ring toss. I am so glad you did it. not I know you're so to play this. I was going to have it Jason, on. you do not need to bring Jason, it over. yes, yes. <laughs> That's my guy. That's why we're married. Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right, Jason, you have to show them how it works. Yeah, here you go. You even right. can do it. Jason's not answering the phone, so I guess he's going to be doing that. Jason, that was not very good. Oh, Come on, somebody needs this. Oh, um, my God. So the next you person. Yeah, it's here. Two on it. Come on, you got two more, Jason. You're still not on the phone. That's really good. And I'm kind of moving. They must too. do this when no one's yeah, yeah, on <laughs> That's what if we you do ever home. walk by the store and you see the lights on, this is what they're doing in here. This is what we do at night for entertainment. <laughs> okay, so that's for the next person who calls, that's, correct? No, this is for the and the, oh, one who the gets, question. gets okay. my question right. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so here is my question. And if the first person, and so I'm not seeing things pop up on this computer as well. Okay. So I'm going to get up I and go over there. I do see it over on yeah. the phone. Yes. So here's the question. I'm going to come over here. <laughs> She looks like Santa's helper, please. I know, so, and I'm going to watch really close. So the first one okay. I see, okay, Leanne's going to be watching too. Okay. Okay, so the question is, what year was Support the Troops founded? Ooh. Good question. What year was Support the Troops founded? All right, All right. so now yeah. I've been talking, and yeah. I said you a said certain you said month it. we are going to be a certain year old, so... This may be a math question. It and might take a minute. Or, and I know you mentioned it before. Yes. You said the date, but I've um, but it's also on your website. It is. So if somebody wants to yes. search the website. I was going to say, it's not on our sign. No, it's not. But, but... Kitty says 2010. Yes, Kathleen says 20, uh, 2007. Kathleen, yes! Kathleen Marie, I can't Oh, thank you, Kathleen. Oh, I know who she is. Did you see that? Yeah, Kathleen Marie Lynn. 
Awesome. Right. Okay. Yay. You win that. And she's got test. two wonderful kids that are going to love yes. playing this. Okay. So thank you so much. And I am also going to give away. Um, Jason is not busy. The phone is not ringing. Correct, no, Jason. Not. All right. So I don't I know. I think it's time for a cheers. For a cheers? I think it's time for a cheers. Okay. Don't... I really only have tea. I've never. <laughs> Mine is tea. Me too. I don't know Me what is in too. Wendy's. It's tea time. Okay, man. tea, tea time. time. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. So I also have a couple trivia questions. Okay. Um, Jason, I have gift certificates. Um, a gift certificate for another pint of ice cream for the next person that calls Ooh. Jason. Okay. Okay. Um, over here, 262-397-8689. Let him know that you are going to be dropping off a check to him um, either in the next couple weeks or by Christmas or right after Christmas. Yep, whenever. Um, and then I'm going to give another, Wendy, you're going to have to watch the phone again very closely. Okay, okay. okay. I have a trivia question oh also. All right, okay? I'm going to get up there and go look. All right, based on population. What is the largest military base in the United Ooh, States? Wow, we got like serious. So now we have re trivia. <laughs> serious um, question. Yes, serious question. I think now. Yes. <laughs> so um, there is a state and the name of the base. If anyone can tell me who that is, Ooh. I will give another pint of ice cream from Scoop DeVille. Again, I like butter pecan <laughs> and Rocky Road. <laughs> But I know Ray says they have vanilla and other flavors. They so, do? Oh, um, thank you, Ray and Carrie, for all you do for support the troops. Um, if somebody see. can tell us, uh, I'm again. sure they're Googling again. Based on population, North what is the largest military base in the United States? North Carolina? You are right. What Ooh, is the name that of Laura. that base? Westner, I'm sorry. Did you see that, Jason? Yes. Okay, so Laura. Laura. I, well, I asked Ooh. for what military base. Oh. What is the largest military base in the United States? Laura, can you tell us in North Carolina what the name of that base is? I don't know. There's other comments that might. Um, there's California Camp Pendleton, Fort Bragg's in North Carolina. Fort there's Bragg is correct. Fort, Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Okay. That is correct. Oh, that was Kathleen again. <laughs> All right. Well, I will give one to Kathleen, and I will give one to Laura. Okay. Um, you are Perfect. both right. All right. Um, I'm going to just give nice. a couple other. We're not for a prize. I'm just going to ask you a few other Good trivia job, questions. Guys. Uh, what is the state? Let's see if Wendy knows. Oh. What is the what in what state is the United States Naval Academy? I don't know. It's close to the White House, but it's the White House is not in that state. Why do you put me on the spot like this? I man? just thought maybe you would know. I like I would know this. Absolutely not. Jason says West Virginia. He is wrong. It is Maryland. <laughs> okay. Um, I I was gonna say that next. <laughs> you were. No. See. Oh. <laughs> Again, thank you so much to everyone that has helped us in the past and the present um, sending care packages. Let us not forget. All right, I'm going to give you another trivia question okay. here. Okay, are you ready, I'm, Jason? Are you listening? I'm feeling, I'm feeling better. There is a group, and it is WAC. What does it stand for? WAC. Let's not forget the women. The Women's Army Corps. Oh, Let nice. us not forget that there are moms overseas all the time yeah. that are away from their children. Yep, that's important. Um, and these are the people that we're sending the care packages to. Um, they are receiving the care packages. Again, we kind of gave you a, a little bit of a um, look into a care package. Um, we, we send these care packages to boost morale. Um, the basic necessity should never be done without... Um, we have these wonderful stockings that we are shipping over, one to keep, one to uh, I share. I think that is so special. I, I just can't imagine getting a care package and you're opening it and the person sitting next to you is like, yeah. oh, yeah, that's really cool. And yeah. you can say, wait, There's one I you. have one for you as well. That's nice. So um, again, we showed you a variety of things that go in these care packages. Um, again, the families are... Um, so grateful for what we can do for their soldiers, for their airmen. 
um, for their Marines, for their uh, Coast Guard uh, personnel. Um, it, I just can't imagine being away from home and not having the basic necessities. Uh, the government does not give them deodorant. The government does not give them That's new so socks. That's so crazy to me. You know, I mean, there there's so many things that they just need. Yeah. Um, there's not Walmart down the street where they can just go grab what they need. So please help us send these care packages. I don't know where we are at as far as... Um, Jason, can we get an update yeah. at all? Drum roll, drum roll. All right, now our goal is what, Wendy? <laughs> 2100 $2, by, yes. well, what is 20? Well, 100 care packages would be $2,250. So, oh, right, right, of course. So we're, we're looking of for, we're, we're just like 2250 <laughs> times 100. Yes, yes, I mean, that's, yes. Yeah. So that's how much we would like to raise yeah. tonight. Um, yeah, I'm so grateful to all of you who continue to help us, whether you come Put a care package together. You get your Boy Scout, Girl Scout um, class. You know, uh, we've had a couple of religious organizations come in for, um, they need service hours, come oh, put yeah. care packages together. Yep. Um, please call Jason yep. at 262-397-8689. Uh, let him know that you would be able to drop off a few dollars for us to uh, send these care packages. Um, we're very blessed. By people who want to help us um, with the items, um, the items inside I would say are probably fifty or sixty dollars. Is it? I was it wondering is about that. right. Okay. So then we still have to pay postage. No, you. That's just a. That's a lot of money and it time is. and things that go into this. One. Right. And and then when, if you add a letter in there right. or something, I mean. And we don't always get these donations from the groups. Um, I went out shopping. Uh, well, I went to. Walmart.com, and I uh, ordered a bunch of stuff online. And on my way home from work at nine o'clock last night, I just drove through and did pick up whatever it is, and they loaded it in my car, and I brought sure. it to the building this morning, um, so my little elves could uh, put these care packages together for me. So I, you know, we did spend money, and we had another elf that um, came and uh, brought items with her as well. So thank you for all of that. I'm so grateful. But when we need um, supplies, we really have to get those supplies. So if you could help us out with postage, then we can use those money for supplies. So do you have volunteer opportunities? Have we covered that? I don't, really I know. don't know if we did, but we do. Okay. Um, I know right now we have a lot of people, I think, trying to get their service hours in oh. at the last uh, couple of months. Sure. Um, right now, till the end of the year, I really don't have a lot for anyone because we, we did do the majority of our care packages. But uh, come January and almost every other month we do. We do. So, yeah, you could contact Probably us. Probably especially and, walking in the parades. Absolutely. Walking the parades, we do. Uh, again, we've done brat fries. We've done so many different activities where we could use volunteers. Coming down to put a box together, uh, write letters, uh, yeah. put some, you know, ask your family or friends to donate a few things when they all go shopping. Um, we really can use your help. Um, uh, Jason, did anyone get that last uh, pint of ice cream I offered? Um, we, didn't, we didn't get anybody to call in, no. Oh, oh my no. gosh. Please call what? in. Um, are, we are, we, are you awake out there, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Um, we need somebody to call in and win the, or, and to get the, the pint of ice cream. Yes. Yes. And if you're a we veteran, call ice. in and oh. support others that are. Yeah. Are over there. Yeah. Um, I know veterans love to give back and yeah. help us out. So again, if you can call us two six two three nine seven eight six eight nine and let Jason know that you can either pay with a credit card. Mm -hmm. What are the other ways, Wendy? You can pay with a credit card. You can just let them know you're going to drop off a check or send cash. a check yes. cash. You can send a check to support the troops at six zero eight seven Highway sixty in Hartford. 53027. You can also uh, go uh, use the Venmo or um, PayPal links that Sherry has been posting in the in the comments section. Thank you, Sherry, Thank for doing you, Sherry. that for us. She's doing a fabulous job. There's a wish list link in there. Sherry has posted all of those really important pages in there. That has been very helpful, Sherry, because 
I really thought I would be able to do all that at the same time, but it really does get a little complicated <laughs> when you're talking and listening. Yes. <laughs> I would love for... I, when there she you, goes again. She's amazing. There she goes. Um, do you have your phone with you or Jason has a phone, right? Yes. I would love to have a veteran call oh. in and tell us what it means to receive one of these oh, care packages. That would be great. We would love to hear from you. Yeah. We would love to know what it means yep. when you receive these care packages. Tell us about what, you know, how it boosts the morale or how, again, I received the one um, letter. I Have I told the bathroom story? No, I don't think so. All right, uh, this is an honest to God truth. You can't make it. this up story. <laughs> Um, middle of the night, phone rang. Are you the lady that sends care packages? Yes, I really? am. Yes. Do you get that a lot? Are you I, well, I've heard a few times. Mm -hmm. This person wanted to know if I could send toilet paper. They really had run out, and they really needed it. So we, I literally got up during the night, so it had to be within the last 10 years. Sure. Is that when Walmart opened? Oh, that could be, yeah. So I literally ran to Walmart. It was probably 2, yeah, 3 in the morning, right. and... I was buying a case of toilet paper and I had a gentleman say, what are you doing? And I said, I am mailing this overseas. And he offered to go get his manager, which he did, and they helped me ship it overseas. Oh, really? This is an honest wow. to God, true story. A few nights later, the That's phone awesome. rings. Are you, Leanne, would support the troops? And I said, yes, I am. He said, we got your box and we still don't have it from the government. No kidding. So this is a, you can't make this story wow. up. Um, and I asked him, what are you doing? And he said, we cut up books and magazines. Oh, wow. I cannot even imagine. Yeah, that shouldn't be. And again, it, I'm <laughs> sure it was a matter of the truck just missed them. The, you know, people all the time that everyone has come home. They have not come home, believe me. Uh, we still yeah. have people in Korea. We still have people in Vietnam. Um, in yeah. honor of your grandfather or in honor of your uncle, please help us send these care packages. Even a $5 donation um, will help us out. We will put that money to, you know, amazing use. Um, and what a way, a good way to feel good this, this Christmas. It is. It is. I see somebody just said, um, Sherry said that we were frozen. And I think it was during that phone call that the feed was frozen and she... It's freezing on it all. Is it? Yeah, we, we're having a little bit of issue on that. Sorry about that, you guys. But she wanted to hear the story again. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I don't know why, but okay, so this is an honest-to-goodness real story. Um, during the middle of the night, I got a phone call, um, and the person said, are you the lady that sends care packages? And I said, I was. And he said, we are out of toilet paper. Yeah, and I think crazy. I did ask, where are you? And he happened to be in Kuwait. And I said, I will go right now wow. and I will get toilet paper that I can mail out in the morning. So I literally ran to Walmart and I was buying a case of toilet paper and a gentleman asked me what I was doing with all this toilet paper. I'm sure he thought I was going to toilet paper right. someone's house or right. something. I don't know. <laughs> and I told him what I was doing. Because it was before the COVID. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Much before. When everybody yes. buys it by the case. Yes. <laughs> And I told him what we were doing with it, and he got his manager, and they helped me send it. And literally three or four nights later, again my phone rang in the middle of the night, and are you the Le are you Leanne that sends care packages? And I said yes. And he said we have your toilet paper, and we still don't have it wow. from the government. It's so crazy. And nobody hears these stories. Yeah, yeah, you know, no. Unless you actually know someone deployed. Yeah, they don't have that. You know, news. I can't even imagine. No that they don't have everything they need. Yeah, There is no reason that they should not be eating three meals a day, all the coffee they want. I, I heard this, I don't know, I guess I would think it's true because um, I've heard it from uh, other military people. They used to get coffee for free all the time, now they charge them for oh. it. I Come on, you're away from your country. Yeah, And and I understand there's budgets. I'm, I'm not gonna get into that debate. Right. But if we can help them with these care packages from home with just the basic necessities, of course we do put all the fun stuff in there too. Um, you know, games and uh, things like that. So here's here's the bag, you guys. I don't know. Um, Wendy is thinking about stepping in Jason, it. Jason, what do you think? <laughs> I will to, take you to the hospital. I want so yeah, Leah will take me. My friend will take me. 
So we let's, we want to fill this up here. Let's yes. see, let's see what we can do here. Come on, let's let me try. All right, all right. So this is how much stuff we want, you guys. We want. I would love for you to drop off want, some peanut butter and jelly. No glass. Jars. We want this much here. Let me. See, can I fit? Can I fit in here? Can I? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So she that, she really is in the bag, you guys. <laughs> um, and we would love to fill that up and send it overseas. Um, but yeah. I need your help yeah. putting those uh, <laughs> objects in a box to send overseas. <laughs> so if you can please call um, and help us out with those donations. Did we get an update at all? What's our update? We're at $1,600 even. Woo! Oh, okay. $1,600. So we're $500 we away are, from our goal. We are $500 away. Okay, so I think that we should say, should we say we're going to extend this? until? Oh, yeah, I would say do the Oh Should my we, gosh, thank you. That would be amazing. We'll, we'll extend this through Sunday because we understand there's people actually have to go to bed. and, and Or they're at work right now. Or they're now. at work right now. Or, or <laughs> and they're, they're going to rewatch this. <laughs> I can't imagine the whole yeah. thing. <laughs> Nobody has be that like, much I'm, time. I'm gonna be like, I'm just going. I'm just gonna donate so they, so I can just turn it off. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, but thank you all to everyone who um, is sending money into us, helping us out. Again, if you had a soldier come home, um, please, please, please thank them. Yeah. Um, for their service, I am so grateful every day when I hear of boots on the ground, um, boots on U.S. soil. Um, you know, you see it on Facebook all the time when somebody posts when their child or family member comes home. So um, I, I just can't thank you enough. I know there's so many good organizations. The USO does a fabulous job. There are so many. We do not get any government funding. We are 100% volunteer. Nobody gets a paycheck at my organization. You come because you want to help. Um, I, I've always said um, people, I know uh, people like to donate there's a lot of patriotic people out there. There absolutely is. And, and and old and young, you know, like I feel like our, our older generation especially. Absolutely. But also younger. And there's just this certain people just want to, they every year they make a point of donating to a some sort of military organization. And I always say, and I've said this to, me, to my own dad who served um, in the Army. And, Thank you. Um, and, I, and I've said to him, you know, and I've said this to other people, if you're going to donate, this year to a military organization um, consider donating local like just like consider shopping local I know that there's a lot of organizations out there but there's a lot of um, fees that come off of your donation of that course true. the pay for administration and all of that we know that happens it in all different true. organizations and I always say donate local shop local you know that's the whole package and and this way and this is people we know we this is an Your organization own we friends know. and family yeah. are going to receive these care packages right and that's it's such a different way of looking at things and i didn't jason and i really really got a different perspective when we opened up this business and just seeing what a difference that it, it makes to to shop local to support local and that's yes. not just businesses but organizations and nonprofits because they serve the people in our community. You're right. And I will say, I know you guys help out so many organizations. Thank you for mm -hmm. everything you do to help out this community. A lot of people um, are doing it. It takes a lot of people mm -hmm. to, they say it takes a village. It does. And it really does. And Jason and Wendy are so good to so many. And I know everyone has expenses. I understand that. Um, you know, everyone has bills. But I will tell you, at the end of the day, when you pack a box and you you feel the excitement of someone opening this care package, it, it means the world to them, and it's going to make oh. you feel good also. So if... I got to tell you, Leanne, excuse me, Jesse Cornelius with Shore West Realtors will be giving a portion of each real estate transaction in 2022 to support Woo! the troops. Oh what? my gosh! Yay! 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 <laughs> Thank wow. you so much, Jesse. Jesse even collects in his own community. <laughs> That's um, awesome. He lives in a subdivision not far from here, and he passed out red bags and yeah. Shore West colors, probably. Yes, yeah, probably. And <laughs> um, they collected all these donations. And again, once I get the donations, I have got to ship them. Yeah. So if you yeah. can help me in any way send these care packages. Jason, can we get that phone to ring at least one, one more, more time? time? We need a ring a ding um, ding. Yes, um, I would love to have you call and let us know that you're either gonna 
or yeah, where you're either going to donate, or we would love to hear from a veteran who has received, or uh, uh, someone in the service yes. who's, who's received, received the, the care packages. Yes. So I know it's getting late, but we would still love to hear from you. We're gonna, we're gonna, we are gonna wrap up. Okay. Tiana says, um, unless you have more. No, I, I, I've said my say and more. <laughs> Um, I, I, I guess I never want anyone to feel like they should give more no. than they can. I absolutely don't expect that. But I would love to have you all um, give what you can. Um, there are so many good organizations out Woo! there. We got one. There's so many. We got good a hot one, honey. <laughs> <laughs> we got a live one. We got a live one. That's it. Facebook Live. Um, I, I'm so grateful to everyone who helps us out. Um, whether you come pack a box, make yeah. a donation in items, write a letter, uh, shop Faith and Giggles, who supports us all the time, <laughs> buys these fabulous. Uh, you can't hats buy them. For us. You yes. can, do you know how you can get these? I do not know. I'm going to tell you. Come Midnight Madness, and oh. yeah, with a purchase. You're going to be able to possibly receive one of these, but we're going to start these in the evening, six o'clock. All and right. With the purchase, you're going to be able. To when receive. is Midnight Madness? Midnight Madness, Madness is, is December tenth. All right, and uh, for those who don't know, um, what is Midnight Madness? Oh my gosh, Midnight Madness. Besides, I know because it's so fun. <laughs> I am here. Midnight Madness is is traditionally in Hartford, and this has been going on for over twenty years. Oh, I, yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, a long time. And um, the downtown shops that per that participate are open till midnight, and the premise is that the deals get better as the night gets later. If you're a Die hard shopper, you're going to get the best deals. And you do. And you do. You However, do. Leanne, yes. this year, and because of last year's COVID, we did this oh, last year, okay. we're going to do it this year. We, because our shop gets just slammed, I mean, we are just packed. packed. Right. So um, we open up our sales all day. So we don't just wait until wow, the evening or that's late. That's awesome. Yeah, we're going to have that's sales awesome. all day. So you got to listen on WTKM for our radio commercials and watch us, follow us on Facebook to find out more details. Are you going to have a live that day? I can't even oh, imagine. Yeah. We do oh, a you do? We do? First of all, we're going to have WTKM in the window. We're going to be Woo! doing a live remote at noon. Watch us at all noon. Right. We're going to have Very all sorts good. of people. Dave different. and Connie. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Different people from the community, different business owners are going to be in we're going to be sitting in there and doing interviews or dave will be and then um we're going to be doing gift card giveaways so every two hours i go on facebook live and i call oh and we pull my a winner. you're oh yeah. and i will tell every you if you hours. are shopping down here yeah. no matter where you are <laughs> after they they it was um uh, hourly drying something. It was hourly, but now we're doing it because we're starting in the morning. Right. We're doing so it all day. You can't give the whole store away. Yeah. Um, I mean, first of all, Jason and Wendy do so much for the community. There's so many businesses, really, that help us out um, and help out so many good organizations. There are so many businesses doing it. But I will tell things. you, Midnight Madness is so fun. Uh, I think it starts about 6 o'clock yeah. traditionally. Traditionally, it, it starts at 6. Uh, Perk Place has live music. There's, right. Um, What's that? Santa's here from 4 to 7. Where? He's going to be at... 106 North Main Street. 106 North Main Street. Oh, Midnight Man is de December 10th. Santa will be at 106 North Main and Street. And I will tell you, every store down here Four is seven. running some sort of special or uh, event. What's that? Vendors in the link There's building. vendors will be in the link building. So you can get all your Christmas shopping done. If you happen to be in the area and you have a few extra dollars... I don't know. Yeah, I can't say this for sure, but we'll ask. Um, maybe we could have a jar that oh, yeah. says "Support the troops." Yeah, and you can drop your change in there. Yeah, change makes a difference. Yeah, it does. So we would love to have that. Sure, we um, can do that. Change, um, and we will take it to the bank, Associated Bank, or you can also drop off donations, um, or you can stop at Scoop Deville. They have a container where you can drop off donations. Yep. Um, and uh, Jason and Wendy said they're gonna. Um, continue this yep. event through Sunday. Yep. So if you are shopping downtown and you want to stop in and drop off a few dollars or drop off a check, um, the few the people who called and won prizes, they can pick those yep. up here. Pick them up here. Um, come pick up your prizes. We'll and have them sitting you know, at the counter for you. What are the hours you're open? We're open Monday through Saturday, 9 to 6, and Sundays, 10 to 3. Seven days a week we're here. Awesome. Yep. Uh, so, again, thank you to Jason and Wendy for everything, for not yes. even just my organization, all the organizations who you guys help out. There's so many good ones. Um, and, again, for those of you that are helping us out, 
I really had hoped uh, we would have at least one more veteran call in um, and let you know what it means. We did have Brad and we did have Jesse uh, awesome, tell though. us yeah. what it means to get those care yeah. packages. So if that you want awesome. to make yourself feel good this year, um, you can help out in many different ways. Yep. Why don't we give those ways one more time okay so if you still want to donate but you're just too tired tonight to do it <laughs> you have had it with us <laughs> too much <laughs> there's too much <laughs> but you can still donate you can stop in at faith and giggles at your leisure dropping and drop off a, a check uh, made out to support the troops you can we can also take a credit card payment if you'd like you can also go to the website, www.supportthetroopswi.com. <laughs> you know, when you it's made these up, you said it like stt.com would have been a little easier. You can also, if you're watching this, especially if you're watching this after this is already done and you're watching it, you know, go back in the comments and you'll see that there are PayPal links. There is also a way to do it Venmo. You can message Sherry and, uh, yeah, Sherry, Sherry. and she will... Um, help you get the Venmo done, and she'll get that money to Leanne immediately. Um, did I look? Did I leave something out? Yeah, no, I don't think you so. can. Again, stop at the store here yep. and drop off your donation. Uh, you can mail them to me at home. Um, I will tell you, I get very excited when I get even. I, I any, I, I I'm not discouraging large donations, but I will tell you, ten dollars means as much to me. Yeah. as any donation because I know it's your hard-earned money I know you have so many places yeah. that you could give to and we are so grateful when you choose us um, all the money is donated right to these care packages no one in my organization including myself make any money off of your donations yeah. uh, nobody gets a paycheck so all our unusual. money yep. goes right to uh, sending the care packages and putting the items in the care packages and the postage cost. It's twenty two fifty to mail a box. Please stop and see Jody over at Pack and Ship if uh, she has a barrel that you can drop donations off in. I'm sure she would, and I know people have done this before. Um, and it is always touching to me, and nine times out of ten she doesn't tell me who does it. But I'll go to write a check to her. I think I wrote one for 1300 or 900 or whatever it is and she'll say oh take fifty dollars off that someone dropped off a donation oh, yeah that's awesome. so again if you want to pay jody directly i am totally okay with that yeah. um that's just less money that i have to write to her for these care packages 2250 to mail a care package um let's fill this yes i really would love love <laughs> love too. um you know, to see, let's see if we can get this filled by Sunday. Yes, and I'll post pictures. Yes, I'll and post pictures. I will stop by. Um, if not, also. I'm just gonna go. I'm just well, maybe I'll put Jason. She in. may go in it again, <laughs> and if you don't want to see that, yeah, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> then we have to fill it. Yeah, we have to fill it. So <laughs> let's please do that um, again. Thank you for your yep. service. If you are a veteran, yep. Thank you for um, your service. We appreciate uh, everything Jason and Wendy are doing for us. And thank you, Leanne. You're welcome. Thank, thank you, Jason, for answering the phone. You did a great job. And Thanks you did a great you job with the say? game. I'm good. He's good. <laughs> He's speechless. <laughs> I can imagine, and I'm sure you would like us to be. So thank you again. Merry Christmas to all of you. Have a wonderful holiday. Please stop at Faith and Giggles. Shop local. Shop local. Donate local. Yes. And um, thank you for doing this for us. And please, if you want to keep with those comments, every once in a while I see a little heart. I Maybe know. there's smiles. I'm not sure. I know. They're saying um, they're calling us crazy. So that's okay. <laughs> um, thank you. We're, we're crazy for the troops. <laughs> yes, we are crazy for the troops. Good night, everybody, and have a great rest of your week. Thank you. Look at hearts. I know. I love it. <laughs>